Welcome back everybody. This weekend I'm going to run the Oahe River. Uh, it's going to be kind of cold, maybe rainy. Um, I think the water is about 3500 CFS, so stay tuned. There she is off in the distance. Uh, running the section from uh, Rome to Birch. It's called the Lower Oahe. It's about 3500 CFS. This is a solo trip, so uh, got to be careful, um, no backup. There are a lot of people out this weekend, though, so that's probably a good thing. Water's moving at a pretty good clip compared to uh, the last time I was out here, which is nice. But man, that thing is old. Old farm stuff. Old dirt. Swallows built a bunch of mud nests underneath those, uh, underneath that ledge. So much spookiness. It was making a hard right. Little wave train. A little bit of fun wave trains. Upset was fun. Uh, the uh, water level is pretty ideal for big fun rapids. So. We had uh, 14 miles. It's called Hike Out Camp out there. There's a group camping out. It looks like a guided crew. And uh, I guess they call it Hike Out because that's the last place you can hike out. All right, so it's a 51 mile trip. So we're at mile 14 out of 51 in the first uh, four hours or so. so. Pretty good pace if I would say so. These are hackberry trees on the beach. Hackberry. Wood burns pretty good. Uh, if you can find some down hackberry wood. So there's a spring that comes out of the side of the cliff down here called the weeping wall. It's down uh down there. I'll show you too when we get closer, but you can kind of see how the cliff comes all the way out to the edge of the river. And I guess the water table just kind of pours it out right there. The weeping walls down there, some boats parked in it right now. There's water pouring out of the side of that wall. All right, it's five o'clock. I think I got two more rapids. I'm hoping I'm out ahead of everybody that left today, but I don't want to catch up with people that left tomorrow, if that makes sense. So. All right, read them and weep and artillery are done. Those are uh, a little bit more tricky than some of the other rapids. Find a place to camp, whatever. Good campsite is open next, where I'm landing and I'm gonna eat some steak. All right, pulled over. We're gonna check this camp out, see, uh, see, if, it, see if it is a camp. It looks pretty damn manky. Metal plants everywhere. Nah, we'll go down the river. Pretty mucky here. Definitely uh, some ruins up there. Hot spring coming out right there. I'm gonna go down a little further, try to catch a camp. All right, we have arrived at camp. Uh, so we got a hot spring across the river here. Which I may visit, we'll, we'll see. And a uh, little bit dark campsite here. And then there's another camp down there, but they've got some, some room. I think the idea is that you camp at that one, you can walk to the hot spring. So. It's a really warm day, so this water could come up. So I uh, ran that rope through there and made it pretty far up there to a pile of rocks. A tree would be better, but a pile of rocks would have to work. Just cast iron on it, eat a steak. They make this thing called a sand steak. About a two foot long, uh, lightweight aluminum steak. Then uh, hammer into the ground into the beach so you don't have to do all this rock nonsense with rope. Springs up there, I think there's a little pool. 
forgot my leather gloves. So the uh, cast iron is kind of hard to handle right now. I got my utensils. Good view. 23 and a half mile day, not too bad. Here's a river tent. Looks just like a woods tent or a snowmobile tent. Chock full of goodies. All right, I'm totally wiped. 23 and a half miles. Whew. It's not even uh, dark yet. It's nine o'clock. I'm going to call it a night. still have a boat that's good okay the water came down a little bit put that stick on the ground right there and the waves were hitting that stick yesterday Woo, that's a lot Whew. bang all right boiling water yeah packing intentionally is important on a river trip everything's got to be strapped down you got to rig it to flip plate crazy clouds i think that's called mamatis formations out there which is a, an ominous sign if I remember correctly. Okay, so I got up about two hours ago. This is where the group party left, so time to get serious and get set up and pack and roll out. All right, leaving exactly uh, two hours earlier than we did yesterday. It's 9.40, left at 11.40 yesterday, so. If I go as many miles as I did yesterday, uh, 
I'll be at mile like 46 or 47 of 51. So we're, we're coming up on the chalk basin too, which is going to be pretty spectacular. Crazy rock formation called Pruitt's Castle. It does look like a castle. I just talked to a guy on a gear boat for a commercial company. His set phone said the rain starts at four. This guy's rolling a gear boat loaded down. Here's our backdrop. Pretty phenomenal. Little creek comes in right there. Chucker standing on that rock right there. Seeing a silhouette. All right, made it through Dogleg Rapid, which was ripping and big. That's Dogleg. You can't really see it, but that's it up there. Okay, so that's called Potter's Cave down there. That little uh, thing down there. I guess they found a bunch of stuff in it a long time ago. From from a long time ago. And um, we walked up and checked it out last time. I don't, I'm not going to go up there, but it's pretty... Uh, Pretty cool. I think a big rock slide happened and kind of closed it off, unfortunately. But Whistling Bird Rapid is uh, about a mile away. bird is behind me so that's uh 31 miles pretty cool cave right up in there some more cool caves cliff walls in here are pretty spectacular big cliffs a couple cool campsites up in there too It'd be a great place to stay all right so i've been about uh 15 miles uh in two hours uh no three hours uh, wearing this dry suit and actually i have not gotten hot uh, just kind of stretch this neck out this evening i'm gonna stick some water bottles in here and give it a good stretch big waves in the big open area old farmhouse down there this guy's running at the ducky he's bold I'll spray in that tree there's the old farmhouse I guess that was called the hole in the ground ranch. So pretty appropriate. It's a big hole in the ground out here. Devil's Tower. And kind of one last canyon down here. All right, got a good little camping spot. Right underneath the big rock here. Nice little eddy to pull into. Actually an old creek wash. Creek bed. It's two o'clock, so got in early, which is really nice. Uh, about uh, six miles to go tomorrow. Yeah. Rain is 
coming. Try to get set up before it really comes in. Well, it's just uh, just above camp here. I'm gonna take this little trail, see where it goes. All right, almost to the top of this hill. There's the Devil's Tower. There's the river. My camp's down there by those trees. And another camp way down there. And that's where we came from, back in there. I thought I might see a deer, an antelope, or a cow, or something out here when I got to the top of this hill, but I guess there's uh, a lot of territory out here. And uh, yeah, it's a big country. God, it's full of chuckers, though. You can hear them. There's four different, they're from four different places back there. Pretty good view. All right, so I got a helmet cam. I ran 45 out of the 50 miles of this river and I could have been using a helmet cam the whole time. I um, had this GoPro for a while. I bought a new helmet actually the other day um, in anticipation for this trip. And I forgot that I put some little sticker things in my little Pelican box to keep this GoPro in. So tomorrow we'll try to get some uh, action footage. Sometimes I do smart stuff and just forget about it, like keep all the stuff for a helmet cam uh, in the same place at once. Huh. Steak is thick. Well done. All right, a rainstorm hit. It was uh, three hours late, but it's here. It's coming in pretty hard. You can see back there. It's really coming in back here. You almost can't see the horizon, so. Time to do a couple more things and hunker down because it's, uh, I think it's gonna hammer us pretty good. All right, through the Hackberry trees. Boat is really tied down. Oh, it's like cold rain. Only 7:20, but uh, it's uh, it's pretty pretty raw out here. All right, I'm in here. Hopefully, uh. Hopefully this thing stays stays up during the night. It's supposed to get windy too. Supposed to snow. I don't think it's gonna snow. 7:30. Guess I'm, guess I'm going to going to bed early tonight.
Get all my stuff piled up. All right, calling it a night. Got an eye mask and some earplugs. All right, it's 1 a.m. Rained pretty hard for a while. And uh, winds are kind of gusty. I'm gonna go make sure the boat's okay down there. Yeah, water's about the same. Another band's coming through. We just kind of just got back in the tent in the nick of time. So, all right, back to bed. Just heard a turkey gobble. I said, didn't expect to hear. It's pretty cold. It's probably like 35 degrees right now. Not snowing though, thankfully. Although it would be kind of cool if it was snowing. Hey, blue skies. Heck yeah. And some sun. Oh, it's still here. Well, it's cold air, but it's dry air. My stuff may dry out. God, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah, just barely a little rainbow out there. Just barely. All right, it's eight o'clock in the morning. There's uh, another kind of band of weather coming through. It's cold and windy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pack it up and get out of here. A lot of condensation in there this morning. Uh, so one nice thing about this tent is you can open both the front and the back doors and get a cross breeze. Time to untie and roll out. I adjusted my oars last night. Brought them in closer to the middle. I feel a lot better. Pretty crazy rock formations. There's a cave up there. Big tooth sticking out of the mountain. I camped there one time. That's a good campsite. It's a snow falling in the air. The wind died down though, thankfully. Just a few more miles, we'll be at the takeout. Hopefully the truck is there. That's the tricky part. Uh, Birch Creek Ranch is in there. It's like a historical area. You can drive to it if you want. 
but uh, you probably want a full drive car. All right, here's our spooky water wheel. That means we're at mile 50 of 51. There's a water wheel. It's a cold rain, so it's a love a river trip, but I can't gotta tell you I'm, I'm, I'm okay with wrapping up given the conditions. Land the time I forgot back here. Alright, made it. I can even see my truck. Alright, so loaded up and headed out. There's a big conundrum with the shuttle. Like it seems like there always is down here. Luckily my truck was here, so um, apparently the road's in really, really bad shape. It's like 13 miles of crazy mud, so I don't think the I don't think the journey's over yet. It sounds like a class three river with a class four shuttle. <laughs> it's pretty rowdy up there, huh? Yeah, it gets worse the further you go up, but once you're off of the top, four-wheel drive high, all the way. Cool. How's it going, Thanks, bud. It's not going to be pretty white much longer. I, I know. I, I heard the. I heard it's bad. You got the monster truck though, so you were doing fine, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I have her. All right, y'all take care. Me too. All right, here's the big crazy hill. Right here. Going up this thing's a real, a real fun ride. I had to put it in four low because it's slick, slick and steep. Holy moly! Get out of the way, Chucker. All right, better up there. Came from all the way down there. Conditions coming out are pretty, pretty rough. All right, made it to the pavement. Took two and a half hours to go that uh, 30 miles or so on those uh, uh, rough roads. But thanks for watching, everybody, uh, and stay tuned for next time. <laughs>